These are the new Akko V3 Cream Blue switches. They are a budget tactile switch with a long pole. And these are the Akko V3 Cream Yellow switches. They are Akko's budget attempt at a linear switch. They have a pretty light actuation force and a nice sound. But the real question is, which one of these switches is ready to become the new budget king? I'll start with the linear. So that is going to be the Akko Cream Yellow switches. These are the Akko V3s. So it is their third rendition of these. Uh, and these are the yellows. Going with deep sounds to try to get the QK65. I know. I've been trying. I very much want one. Uh, as always, I love Akko's packaging. I think that they make it really cool. Uh, one flaw, though. How are you supposed to read this? How do you read that? That's impossible. White writing on yellow packaging. Now, look, Akko, most of the time, you make really good decisions. This time, what was the logic here? Yeah, you didn't know there was writing. I didn't know there was writing either the first time that I looked at it. Absolutely insane. Uh, chaotic move from them. But alas, um, we we move on. If I was if I was on their product team, I would have uh, advised against that one. So I have not lubed these yet. I have done nothing to them. So these are relatively light linear. I believe that they have a 50 gram operating force, which is pretty light. So here they are. They're very aesthetically pleasing, I think. Clear top, so they'll be good with uh, if you have RGB boards. It'll shine through. They are three pin. Lemon, I know. They are three pin, so they'll fit in basically every board, but don't use them in plateless. I would recommend, I'd say at least. I mean, you can, it's probably not a great idea. Uh, so yeah, three pin. And it is a linear. Uh, it probably sounds kind of high pitched right now. I don't know that for sure. But uh, here, I can throw the sound on. Give it a click, click, click. So a little bit high pitched with me just slamming my finger on it, not in a board and not loop. But it does sound very acoustic. Like it, it makes noise. It's going to be, I think this is going to be a loud switch. I do not think that this is going to hide. Uh, so if you like your keyboard to make fucking absolute sound and you don't want it to be super muted um then this could be a really good one for you if you like really muted maybe not but who knows you know this might be a good thing i may end up reviewing my some of my boards without foam in it like the q the 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 v1 right no silicone no nothing in there but having a switch that's really loud might sound really good with some extra dampening it might compensate but so my thought is we will try the stock lemon boys and then we will try the the cream blues after kind of disappointed that they didn't just call these like lemons but i think the cream yellow I, I honestly wouldn't be shocked if they're trying to go after like the banana split type vibe but uh yeah so let's go ahead and take apart this keyboard the, the big thing here, though, is they are less than less than 50 cents a switch. Let me get the exact number. So I got them on Amazon um, because it was cheaper with shipping because I wasn't going to order enough to make the shipping worth it. Um, the one thing to consider though, when ordering on Amazon is that the prices are slightly higher than um, than if you order them through Akka. 
Oh, you made Amazon made the switches. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, no, they just sell them. But, okay, so I was wrong. They're way less than 50 cents, even on Amazon. So on Amazon, they are... They are 29 cents per switch. So for the full set of 90, they were $26. And if you bought directly from Akko, if you bought directly from Akko, not including shipping, it would be Eighteen dollars for the uh, full set. So on Akko again, this is without shipping. They are twenty cents a switch, but you do pay for shipping with uh, direct direct order from Akko. You don't when. Uh, going from Amazon. So, if you were ordering a lot of them, it might be worth it. But where I was only ordering a couple boxes, uh, the extra couple dollars didn't end up being worth it. So, yeah. Really, really budget. And this is this is kind of what Akko is known for, right? They, they make things really cheap, and most of the time, it's a really good value. All right. It is now time to try... The stock lemon boys, the stock cream yellows. Let's get another look at them. This is them. They are linear. They have a 50 gram operating force. Total travel is three and a half uh, millimeters. So it's a relatively, uh, relatively normal switch. Maybe that's a little short, but. Not that crazy. Make sure we don't bend any pins. It looks good. What? I'm so confused. That's crazy. That is crazy. It's like, yeah, I, I have auto mod on for some stuff and sometimes it's annoying. I've been meaning to shut it off because it actually drives me crazy with some of the stuff that it deletes, but no, don't apologize. It's it's its own fault. It's its own worst enemy. But wow. All right. I'm kind of shook. Let's, let's hear this one more time. Let's hear this one more time.
What's really... Wow. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. This is crazy. For the money? I think it's gonna be really hard to recommend a Switch for this price that's not this. They're really light, so they're really easy to type on. Like, really easy to type on. Really easy to press down. Yeah, I don't get it. I really don't get it. So those lubed are gonna be crazy. Let's take a look at the Akko V3 Cream. Uh, but yeah, so these are a light, uh, light pressure, but they, uh, I think the bump is pretty big, pretty hefty. I think these are supposed to kind of be like the holy pandas. I think that's the, the goal. Uh, and same price. For 45, it's nine dollars on on uh, Echo. Thirteen on Amazon. Long pull compared to the other two Echo switches, providing a solid, faster bottom out feeling. All right. So it's gonna be stock as well. Here it is. It is built. Let's see how it sounds. God, my camera even lagged because it sounds so good. The space bar, though. This is crazy. This is really crazy. So yeah, these are a crazy, crazy value. Uh, I truly don't know that you could find better anything. Or like I was gonna say better tactiles, but I just, I don't know that you could find better switches at all for this price point.